About 70% of people in Singapore actually have bad walking posture. But what can one do to correct it? Podiatrist Malia Ho tells us what corrections can be made so we can put our best foot forward. This is uh, a particular patient mm-hmm. and patient she's very flat footed. Okay. So she is actually having hip problems. Okay, so if you look oh, she at, turns out her foot when correct. she runs. So what the angle that we look at is actually this one. So we bisect the heel, uh, put a line to the middle of the knee, okay, and then we look at this angle. So obviously if you look at it, she's over pronating. So her foot is turning inwards as she runs. Now we take a look at her with the insoles, okay, which she just got today. So this is the point in time where the foot is fully loaded. If you look at the foot, we cut the foot, the heel into half and then we join it to the middle of the knee. So you can see that compared to without the insoles, this line is a lot straighter. Mm. This is how we want it. That's great news for runners, but how does this help walking? Does footwear really affect our posture? Well, <laughs> footwear is a major contributing factor. Malia brought in her patient, Sharon, who suffers from flat feet, to show how footwear affects her walking posture. When you're wearing flip-flops, right, all the flip-flops does is it just protects the bottom of your foot from the ground. So if there's any thumbtacks and things like that, it protects your foot from that. But other than that, it doesn't do anything else. Does it strain the foot in any way? It does, okay, because when you're walking, basically what happens, your toes have to grip this way to hold on to the flip-flop. So uh, you get a lot of muscle strain at the bottom of your foot. Uh, that's why a lot of people, when they wear flip-flops and they go shopping, at the end of the day, they get pain in the arch area. Or and cramps feel, sometimes even. That's right. Long term, how does it affect your foot? Uh, long term, you may end up with clawed toes. So uh, That's not pretty. <laughs> that's not pretty at all. <laughs> so if you look at uh, Sharon over here, Sharon is flat-footed. Okay? Uh, when she's wearing a flip-flop like this, you can see that this part, the arch of her foot, is totally coming out of the, of the shoe. Mm-hmm. So basically, the flip-flop is not providing her foot with enough support. And this is, this is almost the position that her foot should be in. Right? So without uh, proper footwear, her arch is allowed to collapse like this. Mm-hmm. And then if you look at her toes, her toes are a bit clawed. Um, and, and that's what happens uh, when the arch collapses, the toe actually has to claw to balance out the rest of the foot. So when you see her walking um, with just flip-flops, her foot is actually rolling inwards. Normally, when if you look at somebody walking from the back, you should almost see like the last two toes from the back. If you look at Sharon, you can almost see uh, the third or the second toe already. So if the foot is flatter, the foot uh, actually turns outwards more, so you walk a bit more like Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. And if you're doing that, that means you put more weight on the, on the big toe. So obviously over a long period of time, this is how bunions and, and all that occur. Usually with flip-flops, it doesn't affect the, heart, the posture in the upper body that much. So again, if you look at the way her foot hits the ground, it actually wobbles uh, as it hits the ground. So you can imagine how unstable she is. Therefore, the muscles on the upper part of the body will have to work harder to stabilize the foot. If you look at her shoulders, they're really stiff and really held back. And like I mentioned before, with the high heels, the pelvis is pushed forwards. And then she has to arch her back so that her shoulders get pushed back so that her, her body is still straight. <laughs> so but it's, it's bad for you. It's bad for you. Um, it looks good. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like I said, we've found out that you know you can wear high heels and up to an inch, only about 20% of your body weight is going to be shifted to the front. Mm-hmm. So that amount of adjustment to the upper body is not going to cause that much problems. All right, so as long as it's an inch and below, it should be all right. What about complete flats? Like now, you know, the pumps, the absolutely flat pumps are absolutely in. So are those... Absolutely flat pumps are not good as well. Because, you see, the, the shape, the natural shape at the bottom of the foot is such that you have an arch. But if even flats are bad for women's feet, what can we do? So these are Sharon's um, favourite ballet pumps. Mm-hmm. And um, I think this is something that she's really quite happy to wear to work. But because these are totally flat, and with her flat feet, she was getting like, pain in the front of the feet, okay. um, as well as some strain in the calves. So basically what we did is we put in like a little insole like this for her, mm-hmm. with a contour that kind of fills up the arch area. Okay, and it, it fits like this nicely into her, sh- into her ballet pumps. It's not ideal, um, but it's good, giving her good enough support to go through the day in the shoe that she likes and without much discomfort. Now, when she walks with these, um, you might not see a big difference in terms of the walking posture, but what does it actually do to the walking posture? Okay, what it does is it puts her foot in a good position so that her muscles are not overworking to get her walking. All right, so at the end of the day, uh, she won't get all the muscle aches and cramps that she normally does get. How does this feel different to you from your usual, or how you were wearing it previously? Mm, more support. 
and more comfortable. Mm -hmm. So when you actually wear it on, there's something like to support your arch. So previously you used to have pains right in the where my, on my knee, mm -hmm. my back. Uh, ah, yeah. but after putting the insoles, how uh, did it? My knee getting better. Okay. Back ache not so much. Okay, and it's helped your walking posture as well. Do you think you walk differently now? <laughs> Um, I guess so. So it yeah. depends on what shoes I wear. Shoes and whether mm. you're lazy that day or not. Yes, right? that's right. <laughs> Next up, a more back-breaking solution to your posture problems. Stay tuned.